New Horizons is fast approaching Pluto, and once it flies by the small celestial body, we will receive the first ever images of the dwarf planet. I still remember the day when New Horizons launched on the 19th of January, back in 2006. It will take just under 10 years to reach Pluto, and at the time, I thought it would take so long to get there, it would always be in the future. But 9 years have passed since, and the probe is just months away from photographing the distant icy body. When New Horizons launched, Pluto was considered a planet. Now, it's a dwarf planet. Despite this, the voyage will still help us to understand much about the small world, including the determination of the chemical composition of the atmosphere and of the surface, and a much more accurate size estimation of Pluto and Charon. Beyond this, we will receive the first ever high resolution images of Pluto and Charon, possibly find additional moons or a possible ring system, and map the day-night border of Pluto. The flyby is set to take place on the 14th of July, with a countdown visible on the official website for New Horizons, which I'll link in the description. Since Pluto is so far away, any existing photos of it taken from Earth are so extremely low in resolution, only some facts can be drawn from these distant observations. We know, for example, that Pluto has several moons, including one very large one called Charon, and that Pluto in the last four years has been going, undergoing some kind of summer re-emergence, with the surface beginning to look dramatically different to how it did four years ago, based on the colour taken from the Hubble images. Probes like these are helping us to map out the solar system and our place in the cosmos. By understanding Pluto, we understand more about the formation of dwarf planets and the dynamic interaction between Pluto and Charon. The system is unlike anything explored before, with a moon almost the size of the dwarf planet itself, and to be able to image Pluto's freezing surface so far from the sun will give us a treasure trove of information and wonder. To get to Pluto, New Horizons has had to travel over 4.7 billion kilometers, and it still has the equivalent distance of Venus to the sun to traverse. The incredible job done by the engineers who made New Horizons allows us to get the furthest ever close shots of a celestial body of such a great size, an achievement that may be unchallenged for the next 50 years.